اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقنا الحمد لله ولي المتقين حق من عبد أكرم من سوء الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منير أما بعد أحب في الله there's so many people who go in and out of the hospital their situation is so difficult in and out in and out they don't know what's going on some situation are very serious some are not some are minor but as time goes by their situation deteriorate and it become worse until they become bed bound recently i've come across a brother who was telling me about what is happening within the family and some member of the family are bed bound the doctors don't know what is going on so allah has given me this ability again to mention this and to make a video about this problem where there is a problem out there where it destroys it destroys the human beings and that problem is the black magic the black magic human being goes and seeks help from the devil to from another human being who is evil and then what happens is he goes and plans with the, the devil that we cannot see the jinn and then they cause destruction to that person but it start from somebody someone who's evil within himself seen a brother seen a mother, uh, sister seen a sister have beautiful kids or have a beautiful business or brother has a beautiful business or have a beautiful kids and then what happen is they go and start thinking how come uh, this is not going to take place it's like they hold the keys of the treasures of Allah and they go and plan losing their dunya and losing their akhirah both and they inflict either the kids of that brother or the kids of that woman or the woman or the the list goes on and then the person have a disease a disease where the doctors fight to find clues how did it start or they absolutely having got a clue they start saying maybe this maybe that this is the main subject of this video as sihr al mar black magic of disease black magic of disease is one of the most wickedest magic absolutely wicked what happen is the the shaitan jinn and the shaitan human being they plan together when they plan together the person who goes to the shaitan human being seek advice and what he wants to do to that individual and they come with a conclusion to destroy that person how by disease now he collects property any property that belongs to that individual t-shirt picture hair names and the list goes on and they target the individual and they pounce once they pounce they do it this way three occasion and allah knows best one is they send a jinn to cause problem in the limbs the kidney the liver whatever the eyes and the headache constant headache and the situation deteriorate chest pain heart pain and the situation slowly slowly goes down the second they send a jinn who is master in causing viruses in the body and he goes and does this the food they send a jinn who is ill or multiple jinns who are ill and they go and dwell in that body and causes problem after problem so one or one or the other and allah knows best that's what they do and then the individual he will either have constant disease his daily life will be struggle night struggle ibadah struggle eating struggle absolutely struggle now the symptoms are he will have disease of this sort vomiting frequently everything he puts in he wants to vomit he cannot sleep 
the headache will have severe headache severe chest pain the legs he will have so much pain in the legs that he cannot feel the legs he will have so much pain in the arms that he cannot feel the arm he will have so much pain in the kidney or the heart or the belly or the back that he cannot bear it or the eye or the chest that the disease is unbearable he will not have no strength he will have weakness lethargic laziness ability to cope light headed that when the individual stand he cannot stand he just wants to be on the bed and everything that goes in comes out either from the mouth or from the back flushing it out the illness will be persistent the genu will come and send viruses after viruses or they will be so many genes causing so many illnesses in the body or, or going and stopping all these organs to function properly the doctors cannot find a solution the individual will have pain in any organ in his body and the legs will be so much pain the thighs so much pain the private part so much pain the colon so much pain the stomach so much pain this is what it was meant and is taking place because allah has decreed it. constant back pain the back pain i repeat i will always mention it from my videos because the back pain is a gateway of this spiritual illness majority of the jinn stays there majority of the problem starts from the back and the head now this individual will have these problems non stop the person wallahi tum wallahi cannot cope if he hates it and if it was meant for his demise sometimes it's not meant for demise sometimes it's meant just the person to be on their bed just to be ill and if it was meant for his demise it will take place by the decree of allah and if it was meant for him to be in the bed for such a long time it will take place by the decree of, of allah and this disease i am telling you some of the disease a cancer some of the diseases are diabetes some of the diseases this is a blood pressure it is too much when it hits the black magic of disease now what are the way forward number one is when the individual gets the checks and the checks comes out clear he before running to the hospital run to the book of allah If the individual knows how to read let him read frequently from Fatiha to Surah An-Nas if he can finish it in two weeks one week full Quran if he cannot be able to do that let him stick to one surah which is Surah Al-Baqarah read on the water drink the water put olive oil there read on the olive oil up massage your body drink the olive oil if is the liver and the stomach and the organs inside make sure you drink one spoon morning one spoon evening one spoon afternoon daily and by allah you see victory now how many surahs you need to read surah al-baqarah surah yusuf and surah al-imran these three surah combine it and read it morning evening afternoon because that's the way forward that's the platform you have to be on for you to recover so what happen is you have to be upon the quran and reading the quran abandon for you to be better because someone wants your demise i have seen people me that they've got this disease and i have diagnosed them and i say this is what you have this is what you should do no they don't do it after 3 or 4 days they call me back my brother the pain is too much i can't handle it i'm telling listen just read the quran there's nothing wrong with you having regular ruqya and having read 
But you have to do your bit. Allah Rabbul Izzah wants to hear your voice. By you committing yourself. Not committing just going to work and eating. No. Commit yourself in the recovery. In the way to get better. So Surah Baqarah. Surah Yusuf. Surah Imran. On the olive oil. Drink one spoon morning. One spoon evening. One spoon in the midday. And the water. Make sure your water is always Quranic water. And stay steadfast on these three surahs I have mentioned. This is a video about black magic of disease, sihru marad, black magic of illness. Say chun fumu, Abu Yahya from the Rukato, wa akhru da'wana, wa salamun ala musalim, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ta yatabayyana lahum anna hulha.